There are several easy ways to link to a file from a blog post or an article in text pattern. Of course, the first thing you need to do is upload the file that you want to link to. So on our Files tab, we'll just click Browse. And I have a file on my desktop we're going to use. So name your file something logical. Um, use hyphens or underscores or camel case don't leave spaces in the file name and also give it a description that uh, describes its contents PDF of a sample file and click Save now we're going to visit an article here I will show you a few of the different ways you can link to your file. So one way is the file download tag and you can either use the file name sample file.pdf or you can use the file ID which in this case is 2. Now this tag will use the default files form unless you specify a different form so let's <clears throat> save this article and take a look at what we've got so far save and so the way I have it set up the default files form outputs a link um, and the linked text is the file description and it also includes the file size so let's say you wanted to use um, your own text. So in this case, we could do txp file download link id2. And again, you can use either the id or the file name. And this is a not a single tag, but an enclosing tag. So we can put in our own linked text. And then we close the tag using txp file download link. So again, let's save that and see what we've got. And again, we have the same file is linked to, but with our own linked text that we've chosen. There is yet another way to link to a file, um, and that's using text tile basically the same way you link to anything on the web. So I can put some text in quotes here and then a colon and then your files are stored in the files directory and then the name of the file oops dot pdf okay so we'll save this and if we refresh our page here We've got four links, and if you look down at the bottom of my browser window, you'll see the URL that each link directs to. And in this one that I've created manually, um, we've got files slash sample file dot PDF. And in this one, you'll see we've got um, a bit of a longer URL, which includes this file underscore download directory. That directory is kind of a virtual directory that text pattern uses just to sort of keep track of the number of downloads for each file. So if we go to our files tab right here on the right hand side is uh, the download count for each file. So right now it stands at two for this file. If I click this link, I get my little download window and if we go back to our file tab and hit refresh now we have a download count of three however if I click this link that I created manually that does not include the file underscore download directory we get our file alright but when I click refresh on our files tab the download count hasn't been updated so if you don't care about the download count um, you can use um, the files slash file name URL. If you want to create your um, link 
manually, but you want to keep that download count updated, um, then the URL you'll link to is file underscore download slash the ID slash the file name. So in this case we've got file download slash to slash sample file dot pdf. Make sure we've got the right URL there. Yes. So that is just about every which way you would ever want to link to a file using text pattern.